What's up YouTube, Kyron back up in here with another video and today we have uh, a vlog, a really interesting one at that because I really wanted to go to New York for some odd reason. Like I had a couple of things planned out for me over there, but at the same time, I just get in these random moods where I just want to leave Montreal. At the same time, I have like a March break. Um, my school doesn't even really have like a full week of March break. Like we have uh, like two days off and they call it a study break. In those two days, I was like, what am I gonna do in Montreal? There's nothing much to do. I don't have much to study for. Although I do have a, a little bit to work on. I have th this whole next week, I'm, I'm stacked with a whole lot of stuff to do, but I do have like a whole bunch of videos lined up that I really wanna knock out. So I'm gonna try and get those out for you guys for sure. Continuing on, um, I definitely like wanted to take advantage of this study break because I don't really get to leave out of the country and do what I really want to do because of school. It limits a lot of what I want to do as far as traveling and like events and getting to meet new people and getting to see like some of my main friends, which is what I got to do this trip. I uh, got a chance to go see my friend Harley. I'll slowly like transition into the clips of the vlogging. Like this is just b-roll in order to give you context of some of the footage because i don't talk in a lot of the footage and reason for that is because a lot of the footage that i took the audio is really bad because new york was horrible as far as like the wind was it's like almost identical to montreal's wind so like the mic got all distorted so this is here to provide context to the vlog jump into that first clip Filmer is being filmed. Wait, are you on the vlog now? Uh huh. Now you're on the vlog. Yeah. Yo, shout out to Kyron, day one homie. It's been a while. Tell them how long you've known him for. I've known him for three years? Yeah. How, when, no, what? More than that, man. Four? Four? Well, I was like 14 when we met. 15, easily. Easily. So I'm 18 now. So it is four years. Yeah. Damn. I'm an old ass man then, that means. Yeah. Crazy. But that's crazy. Tell them how we met. We met through Instagram. I know this kid. Well, you guys know him. He's the easy kid. He's from way back. If you're like OG subscribers, you guys know him like from way, way, way back. He had all the Yeezys, but he's not known as the easy kid anymore. This is Harley Chamandi. My yeah. good friend is basically like my brother, but he's yes. a white version of me. I'm the black version. Yes. Same thing. Though. Same thing, vice versa. Oh, whoa. Focus. <laughs> Boom. Okay. So yeah, I came to New York because I was mad bored, basically. So Montreal, mad boring, but Harley, he had the crib. Yes, sir. And I wanted to come through, just chill with him for a bit. I have a shitty couple meetings. Though. Yeah, shitty weather, it's all rainy. But I decided to come kick it with the homie, see if there's any meetings out here for me, and just test the vibes in New York. So I'll catch up with you guys. You have to be here with me living here. I do. Yo, when am I gonna be your roommate soon, eh? You have to get me, it's gonna get me an Equinox. <laughs> You're changing my life right now. He has me eating almond butter toast. <laughs> we're going to Equinox tomorrow. Green juice tomorrow. Green juice. Everything, we're, we're, health, we're changing. Health. Healthy gang. <laughs> Everything. I, I'm, I'm trying to be an Insta baddie, you guys, you know? Shout out to <laughs> <laughs> I'm beeping that out. <laughs> <laughs> she's gang though, she's gang, she's forever gang. But I'm trying to be an insta baddie, you know, so she's the aspirations in life. Yeah. I'm gonna catch up with you guys. So now at this point in the day, me and Harley, like we just got out of the Uber. Uh, Harley had a couple of meetings for his uh, film program and just also his personal projects uh, that he works on as a filmmaker. So I tied along with him because I was trying to kill some time to meet up with some other people. Uh, we grabbed some poke uh, at this, this spot called the poke spot. I never tried it before. Really good, continue. All the Hetty boys, they live here. This is Hetty's house. They call him Hetty or Heidi? Hi no, Hetty. Hedy Slamane. It's been like that for a minute, Hedy Slamane. We should ring on his door. <laughs> All the Hedy boys live here. All you tight, tight jeans, Wyatts. <laughs> All you boys live here in this house. It's a pretty nice house, though. It is pretty dope. He painted it all black himself. And, 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 
<laughs> Harley's taking me on a guided tour through the luxury ville of Midtown. I'm never out here like that. Hey, where are we? Irving Plaza. Irving Plaza. Irving Place. Sick house though. I like it. Class. Alright, so now we are back inside Harley's apartment and um, basically he finished up a meeting. I don't have many of my meetings today. I'm waiting for more people to like contact me and get back to me because I just touched down. So I'm kind of just like settling in right now. So we came back to his apartment, trying to charge up our phones, charge up the laptop. He's going to get a little bit of work done. I'm going to like try to edit some videos, uh, just catch up on all the work that I have to do also. Um, and try to plan out like a couple of videos that I want to do out here. I'm going to do this, which is the vlog. And then I have another type of video that I want to try and do out here. Get some footage for. So Harley's going to help you out with that because he is more into film. Like that's his profession. He's in film. I'm in fashion. It's a perfect combination of the two. So we're going to get into it. After all of that, basically we waited for one of our good friends, Anne-Sophie. She's, uh, she's a model out of Montreal and she had... A trip with my school she goes to the same school as me but I don't like that trip so much like I don't know but the new events that they're doing on this trip makes it really good so I might go next year but anyway we ended up meeting up with her uh, and the plan was to go and just chill at his crib and then eventually grab some sushi at Sugarfish Sugarfish was cr like just just check just check out the footage it's amazing <music> Really oh, we have to take a picture with our, our cubs that okay, fits our shirts. It's really basic. I'm basic. You're basic. <laughs> That's how we are. No. Basic you, individuals in New York. Unique. Oh, do you, I, I need green glasses. Do you have some? Oh, he made green glasses. You have some? Uh, no. No, no, no. Oh, yeah, let me just go get my green glasses. Very psych. You could actually, she actually pulls them off. No, she's a model, man. She yeah, it's true. You're a model. <laughs> okay, literally like no get up. No, I got you as the first shot, so Oh really? Yeah. No. Nope. <laughs> Cuz you're on video. How does it look like Oh, it's a video. Yeah. <laughs> What's up you guys? Basically, I finished up over at Sugarfish last night. We just ate some good sushi. And now I'm on my way to Dover Street. It's the next day. So I'm gonna try and check in with Waz. You guys haven't seen Waz in a long time. And just the homies, I'm gonna go see a museum too, probably. Just enjoy New York, cause I, I was bored in Montreal, honestly. I'm gonna be totally honest with you guys. So I'll see you soon. During my whole shopping experience at Dover, I really like doing this because like it's seven floors of like um like just so many different designers and so many different clothes to sort through. Uh, you grab like I grab a lot of inspiration when it comes to designing and just like overall knowledge of fabrics, construction of garment, a whole whole lot of that. Um, when I'm in stores like Dover Street because we don't really have too much of that over here We have essence, but like it's a small boutique and not all of the clothes are there available for us Because you have to like order it to the store because it's a smaller environment Eventually I did find something I wanted to buy which is Gosha Ruchinsky top But they didn't have my size and the one that I actually wanted which is the gray and the green. It's like the split uh, crew neck the Terry was so nice and 
they only had an extra small in that colorway so i was like damn i can't get it but uh they had a similar one in purple but after trying it on i was like what am i gonna wear with purple so i didn't end up really liking it but i tried it on just to see the fit see the quality like on body how it fit on me and everything so yeah The museum didn't go as planned, but I'm on my way to Patron of the New right now to go see Waz. I feel left out. Look at the boots. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, 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 that's cool, man. You just gotta know where to find him. You know Jack's out here, too. <laughs> you just gotta know where to find him. Wow. Last time they came in here, they were like, yo, where's Waz? Like, like, very rare sighting like, right here, bro. <laughs> no, I'm rare on there on the YouTube. <laughs> yeah. You gotta catch me when you see him. Tune into Instagram story. That's it. That's all you get. The, the comments are gonna be like, yo, his hair changed. Uh, <laughs> He got tattoos. He wear rock tees. I finished up that Patreon of the new. I saw the homies. I might see them again tomorrow before I leave. But I'm probably just gonna go grab some food with Harley now. So then Harley and I ended up going on this like food extravaganza, ended up like eating a whole bunch of stuff that I just really knew I wanted to try out in New York. Um, first we went to Bauhaus, which is Eddie Huang's um, restaurant out in New York. So good, like so, so, so good. That was first. Then we weren't full after that. So then we went to Shake Shack. I grabbed the burger uh, and a lemonade. And then after that, did we eat again? Yeah, we ate again later in the night um, after we went to like uh, one of Harley's friends NYU parties. Um, we went and ate pancakes at like three in the morning. So it was a really foodie-esque night. Harley and I ate swell and then the next day commenced and I met up with Ray to do some garment shopping. Well, what we thought was going to be garment shopping. A lot of the shops were closed on the Sunday, unfortunately. So we ended up just like chatting up on what we want to do for a future project that I will be telling you guys about later on mid-May-ish time. Stay tuned for that. After realizing the garment uh, district, the majority of it was closed, we decided just to go to Soho because the whole trip that I was there, I haven't been to Soho yet. So we just went and did run around to some stores that I haven't got a chance to see yet. And also we wanted to get like some basics for Harley. Harley was like super big into clothes, but now his style has kind of changed and I'm trying to like incorporate stuff that's like presentable in like both avenues of his life, like which would be like going to important meetings and also like hanging out with friends, like having the good gray area with that. So we check, like hit up like stores that have good essentials, like Acne Studios, uh, Palace, like for some pants and stuff like that. Uh, good workwear that meets like casual, a good blend of a whole lot of stuff that's just like you could wear in any circumstance. So yeah. Probably about to get the ice. Don't worry, man. Don't worry about what type of time it is. Yo, Yo what's up, bro? Hey. Oh my god, yeah. bro. Yo, shout out to Miss Tutu, bro. Gosway, keep doing your thing, bro. Fresh as fuck, bro. Keep it up. <laughs> Crazy, that is nothing on too. <laughs> so? That was like perfect timing. Yeah, I know. Tell me where you're going. I'm gonna go get my girlfriend a little uh, necklace inspired by your rings that you made your girl. Okay. We're gonna do a necklace. This time? Where are we going now? Right here, it's right here, I have a corner. 
Right here? Yeah, popular jewelry. I don't see it. It's here, don't worry. <laughs> don't you worry about a thing, Carter. It's right here? No. No, it's not. <laughs> 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 Chavez Yeah, Travis. Yeah, that was a long time ago. Here it is. The last, the last dinner. The last supper with my friend. After hitting up um, Popular Jewelry and seeing ASAP Eva, well, like Harley wanted to go there to get a necklace for his girlfriend, which is really nice of him. Yeah, after doing that, we just grabbed food like we always do. Uh, we went to this place called, uh, what was it? Hoko Vuku something? Let me, let me go check that up. Hold up. You gotta get the facts right, people. You gotta get the facts right. Hold up, wait a minute. Boom. Boom, insights go down. Momofuku Noodle Bar, which is by this guy. We'll get the information in a second. Boom, boom, boom. David Chang, which is a really well-known chef. We'll put a clip right here. Which brings me to David Chang. Mm. He's the hottest chef in America. And if you want to eat the Changster's food, you can't beg, you can't bribe, you can't steal. And yeah. He's a really well-known chef and, uh, and Harley put me onto the food because he wanted to compare Bauhaus to their like Bao buns. Is that what it's called? Yeah. That would be the end of my New York trip as a whole. I know it's really choppy. I like the fact of doing this context clip though instead of having like a janky video with like messed up audio. I like this. It gives good context for you guys and you guys have a quality video at the end of the day. Thank you guys for watching once again. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this video. Hit the like button and also make sure to check me out on Instagram. G-O-T-S-W-E-I-G-E -E is my Instagram. So make sure to go check that out. As well as Harley's Instagram. You guys will see it on the pop tag earlier. And I also have it in the description below. He makes amazing short films. So make sure to go check that out. Like he's like one of the most talented people I know like out of my friends. So yeah, that's about it. I have more videos on the way for you guys. I have like two or three ideas I want to try and knock out this week, although it's like the second part of my midterms. We'll try and balance that out. I'll get this one out to you guys first. It's like the stepping stone because I've been gone for a little bit. And yeah, that'll be it. Thank you guys for watching once again. I'm out. Peace.